Part two of today's lesson is adjective agreement. Again, we have talked about this in both unit one and unit two, so we are just building on this concept today. In Spanish, most adjectives change form, depending on whether the word they modify is masculine or feminine. Adjectives also change form depending on whether the word they modify is singular or plural. So when we describe our nouns in Spanish using adjectives, they need to agree in both number and gender with the noun that they are modifying or the person that they are describing. For example, we would never say las chicas perezoso. We would say las chicas perezosas so that I have this AS ending on perezoso noting that this is both, both feminine and plural, just like las chicas is feminine and plural. We also would never say el hermano comicas. We would say el hermano comico. Comicas in this case is feminine and plural while my noun is masculine and singular. So in order to make it agree, it needs to be masculine and singular to match. And recuerda, remember, the adjective comes after the noun. So they flip it in Spanish. So instead of saying the funny brother, they say the brother funny. You do want to make sure that your adjective is coming after that noun. So let's try this out saying uh, my mother is daring. So I have mi madre es, and then we're choosing atrevida, atrevido, atrevidas, or atrevidos. So I'm looking at madre, and madre is a singular feminine noun. So I need to choose an adjective that has a singular and feminine ending. I look and I see atrevida ending in an A, which is feminine and singular. So that would be the one that would match and that would be what I would have in my sentence. Mi madre es atrevida. What if we wanted to say, my father is tall. Mi padre es alta, alto, altas, or altos. Take a moment to think. If you've chosen, mi padre es alto, you are correct. I cannot choose alta because this would be feminine and singular, and padre is a masculine singular noun. I can choose alto, though, because that is a singular O ending, letting me know that my adjective is singular and masculine. Mi padre es alto. Mis amigos son inteligente o inteligentes. Remember that if your adjective ends in an E or a consonant, that we don't have to worry about gender and we're just dealing with singular or plural. Since I have more than one friend noted by the S on amigos and the S on mis, I should go with inteligentes. Mis amigos son inteligentes. My friends are intelligent. Finally, mis hermanas son rubia, rubio, rubias, or rubios. Take a moment to think. If you have chosen rubias, you are correct because hermanas, noting my sisters, has an AS ending and that is feminine and plural. So I want to choose my adjective form that would be also feminine and plural. Rubias. My sisters are blonde. Great job. Now try the practice that is in your quizzes and then you will be updating your notebook.